caravan had to make the trip to check it out this morning. Of course. Okay, Ben, we made it to the end of our water journey. Where are we right now? So this is the UV disinfection room. We've treated the water with uh, biology. We've also used the membrane filters, and now it's ready to disinfect. And so what we're doing here is we're disinfecting the water using UV light. The UV light is going to sterilize any of the viruses and make it to where they're not able to reproduce anymore. As long as they can't reproduce, then they're not harmful if they're consumed by a human. Typically what makes a human sick is a virus reproducing in their body. So if they're not able to reproduce, your body's able to fight off a single virus or something like that. Well, these, now this water's the UV light, yep. it's very specific. It's very a very specific, specific band. That's right. So we use a 254 nanometer wavelength of UV light that's used to sterilize and alter the genetic makeup of the virus. Yeah, I was going to say a 250, 260. Yeah, 250, 260, <laughs> somewhere right in there. Yeah. <laughs> so they're putting some banks in right now, right? Yeah, is that what so that's our saying? team is doing some repairs to the UV uh, module. Um, the module has a series of lights. Um, there's also uh, what they call a UV intensity meter on there, so it's measuring how intense the light is coming off of the uh, UV light, and we use that reading in combination with the amount of water, the amount of flow that's passing through the channel to determine what the dose would be, how much intensity per mm. square centimeter of water that's passing through the water. And then the regulators at the state say, you have to meet this dosage, and so that's how we make sure we're dosing it properly. Man, so much math. Yes. I love it, I love it. I do dig that it's like that green color. Yes, you know, yes, it's, yes. It's yeah, I jokingly call it the green ooze because that was a huge. <laughs> A Ninja Turtles fan as a kid. Okay, so let's go all the way to the end Absolutely. because we're almost at the end of our process here of, of this stuff going back out into the, the, the uh, what is it, the, the channel? Dump, the canal, the dump, yeah. Canal, mm -hmm. And then it will go out and, and farmers can use it to farm. Farmers can use it to farm. Farmers can use it to irrigate. Yeah, so this is the uh, final product of water. Um, it's very low in turbidity, very, and we've removed the ammonia, we've removed the nitrate, removed solids, we've removed um, organic waste, and now it's just regular water that can be put into a canal and used for irrigation. So we were talking earlier Earlier, mm -hmm. Say in a drought situation, yeah. what will happen is if if you are the, one of the first landowners, water rights owners, that's right. You get your water, but that's if right. you're newer, then it starts getting cut off. That's right. And you guys will save a lot of folks. Yeah. So the idea is uh, some of the more junior water rights owners end up being the first to be curtailed in the event of a drought. So our partner, Del Puerto Water District, with the North Valley Regional Recycle Program, um, they can end up at zero percent allocation out of the Delta Mendota Canal in drought conditions, which means they have to go out to the open market to buy all of their water for their constituents that are in their, in their district. And so the city of Modesto partnered with the city of Turlock that do this recycled water project are providing somewhere in the range of 10 to 15 percent of their allocation in recycled water, which is guaranteed for their folks to kind of drive some of those water costs down for them. And it's a product that we would otherwise dump into the river and lose out and lose out of the ocean. Amazing! Ben, thank you so much. I learned so much today. Honestly, what I learned is you guys all should wear capes. Because <laughs> what you're doing is really saving us all, man. I really appreciate this tour. This was fascinating. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach.